Hey everybody, it's Brian Bernasconi here, uh, part of the Brian and Dan real estate team, briananddan.com. Uh, as you can see, we're here um, at the uh, county building, 170 West Heading Street in San Jose. And uh, behind me, I've got what people affectionately refer to as the rusty bucket. And today we're gonna talk about one of your favorite topics. We're gonna talk about the notice of supplemental tax that you are going to receive when you purchase a home. So you're gonna buy a house, you are gonna pay tax. We're gonna to talk today about how that looks, when you pay tax, where you pay tax, and uh, the forms in which uh, you will receive notice that you owe tax. So when you buy a house, uh, and we'll go through this, and you can read the blog post, but uh, when you buy a house, you basically pay taxes three times in a short amount of time. You pay tax when you close escrow. So on your closing sh uh, statement, on your estimated closing statement, or what we all call a net sheet, you're gonna see on there a line item that says property tax. What you're doing with that payment at close of escrow is actually paying a prorated portion of the seller's property tax back to them. So they paid tax for a certain amount of time. Tax runs from July 1st to June 30th, right? It runs on a fiscal year. They paid tax. And when you close escrow, you're basically paying them back for the portion of the year that they're not gonna be in the house. So you're gonna take the possession of the home, you're gonna pay them for the portion of time that you lived in the house towards the end of the year, and that's what's gonna be on your closing statement. Now, after you close, you're gonna move into your house, and then you're going to receive something that's called a notice of supplemental tax. And you're gonna call me and you're gonna say, or you're gonna call Dan and you're gonna say, Hey, Brian, hey, Dan, didn't I already pay tax at close of escrow? Well, you kind of did and you kind of didn't. You paid the sellers the portion of tax that they had already paid, but in a rising market, you actually owe more tax than they owed. Your tax rate is higher than theirs. So the government, the tax collector, the assessor's office says, because your tax rate is higher than their tax rate, yeah, you paid them back for what they paid, but now there's a little bit of a gap in there between what they paid and what you owe. So not only did you pay them back, but now you have to pay for that higher assessment rate as well. So there's this notice of supplemental tax where you're supplementing the portion that they paid and the, and the amount that you owe. And then, of course, you move into the house, you paid your tax at closing, you paid your supplemental tax, and then you're going to get a tax bill. So you pay it once, you pay it again, and you pay it again and sometimes it can get confusing and it looks as though maybe you're getting uh, overtaxed, which of course you should be careful and you should pay attention to, but fact is, is that they just kind of get you coming and going. Okay, I think that helps to explain it better, right? This may be harder than we thought. <laughs> Please. Hey there, how you doing? Okay, so here we are. Um, we are gonna enter in here at the uh, entrance B and uh, the reason I always go in on entrance B is because uh, a few years ago they finally uh, got the good idea to turn this into an actual parking lot for the public. So you can see you got two hours of public parking here and there's almost always a spot available. So you pull in, you almost always find a spot. So you can come here. The parking lot is at the corner of uh, West Heading and San Pedro Street, right? And this is where you're gonna entrance, enter it, uh, entrance B. All right, and uh, again, 170 West Heading, and we're going into the Santa Clara County Assessor's Office. There's a lot of other stuff that goes on here, but that's where we're going today. All right, cut. Uh, that doesn't really mean anything. Anyway, we're at 70 West Heading, 70 West Heading, and the uh, free parking here. You're fine, yeah. thank you though, I appreciate it. People are so nice. Okay. 70 West heading, we're going into entrance B, but I got all that already, so. Going to the east wing. Oh yeah, look at that. Smart, well spotted. Look at that. Notification of something that was happening. 
Yeah. Notice that sub. Yeah. Well, that's the fifth floor. We're on the wrong spot. You have to have your APN number. Can we get? Could we get it using just an address, or do we need an APN? Okay. Great. Thank you. Come check this out. If you're ever at the county assessor's office, which we are often, come over here. They've got like a workstation here where you can like look things up. Oh, is that my supervisor? So we're still here uh, at the county uh, assessor's office at 70 West Heading. Um, we were just up at the assessor's office on, on the fifth floor. So if you ever need to talk about your taxes or your tax assessment especially, you go to the fifth floor and they are incredibly nice up there. I can't encourage you enough to go down there and, and, and whatever you need, go in there and talk to them. Don't be afraid. In fact, I think we're going to do a whole segment on how approachable the county assessor's office is. Just so you know, we got a copy of notification of supplemental assessment. This is a copy, so this isn't what it's going to look like when you get it. But wanted to point out that, again, first of all, you're going to get this notice of supplemental assessment. You're going to get that. Secondly, um, if you're looking for information regarding your tax assessment, you can call or come down to the assessor's office and they're just amazingly helpful and nice and there's almost never a line uh, and, and they'll get you what you need. So don't hesitate to come down here and talk to them. And then I also wanted to just point out that uh, when we were walking out the uh, exit here, uh, we discovered that they also have like a little gym here. That, so if you're feeling a little uptight about your taxes or whatever, you can get in here and I guess this must be for the employees or what do you Oh my gosh, that's so smart, right? I think we should have one of these at my office. Yeah. <laughs> well, you can cancel your gym membership at this point. Just come down to the county office. Do your taxes, do your workout, and get back on your way. Um, I think that's about it, right? Justine? That's about it.